working towards safer tattoos. A notable minority of the population is tattooed, despite the published health risks. And unfortunately, relatively few safety regulations govern the sale and application of tattoo inks. The chromatography section at the State Laboratory Basel City, Switzerland, led by Dr. Chris Hole, is working to identify harmful substances associated with tattooing. Tattoo ink consists primarily of individual pigments and solvents mixed with dispersing agents. The overall color of an ink largely depends on the type of and relative quantity of each pigment present. Pigments are only sparingly soluble in solvents, and so dispersing agents are added to help produce a more uniform mixture, which can easily be injected under the skin. From a consumer standpoint, the main issue with pigments used for tattoos is the complete absence of safety assessments. The reason for this is that pigments were not originally produced for use in tattoos, but rather for automotive, paper, and plastic paints, for example, which are predominantly tested for their stability when exposed to sunlight without consideration of human toxicity. Legal restrictions, however, do ban the use of certain pigments for tattoo inks and require that ink ingredients are declared on the product label. For law enforcement bodies, however, Checking tattoo inks found on the market is a major challenge, as only a few of them have laboratories with the specific expertise at their disposition. The chromatography section has set its focus on the detection of pigments through the employment of analytical techniques that produce profiles characteristic of the specific components of a mixture. By comparing each profile with those of known substances, the section can identify whether a substance is present in an ink sample. The main technique used is mass spectrometry, MS, and more specifically, time-off-flight MS, through which calculations reveal the relative mass and probable identity of each pigment. In 2016, the chromatography section published time-of-flight MS analyses of inks in samples gathered during market surveys between 2009 and 2017. They reported that the prohibited pigment Green 7 was the second most common pigment present. Furthermore, about 7% of legal pigments and about 68% of illegal pigments were not declared on the product labels. The section concluded that their findings were indicative of label forgery taking place somewhere along the supply line and highlighted the urgent need to review marketing and important procedures. The chromatography section also researches the fate of tattoo pigments after injection under the skin. Pigments are known to fade over time, and this is partly due to the light-induced decomposition of tattoo pigment molecules. The fate of legal and illegal pigments in the dermal layer has only sparsely been studied. However, light-induced degradation of pigments can yield products that can potentially cause cancer. Furthermore, while most pigment molecules are almost water-insoluble and may not present a health risk, this does not hold for light-exposed tattoo pigments located in the dermal layer. A commentary by the chromatography section revealed how much of a known carcinogen derived from light-exposed pigment yellow 14 is released over time. Overall, they estimated that pigment yellow 14 present over a tattooed area of about 400 centimeters squared adds about five extra cancer cases per 10,000 people. The section concluded that much work is needed to reduce the number of new tattoo-related cases. Currently, safety standards in the tattoo industry are lacking. However, the vital work of the chromatography section is enabling the authorities to review and raise the standards and, most importantly, protect the consumer.